All right. Yeah, fine, thanks, Phil. Aaron, can I have a word? Mm. When we finally get the money sorted out, I'm gonna get one of those cars for every day a week. It's 20 grand, not 20 million. You all right? Yeah, what's up? Nothing. Right, so you just thought you'd come to the village hall and hang out with me, like usual? This baby. Wow. Straight to it, smooth. Well, I just wanted to say that it's a part of you and you're brilliant. Have you just come in to make random statements or...? You're going to have no problem loving it. Well, thank you. Been thinking about this a lot, have you? I suppose I have, yeah. So it's not like Diane told you to come and talk to me or anything? All right, I suppose I have since then, yeah. She just cares, Vic. We all do. And you're going to be fine. Well, that's good then, eh? You know what? After everything, you're amazing. Right, you can stop now. You're embarrassing me and yourself. Deciding to keep the baby. It was never a decision. Sorry, I didn't mean it like that. Then I'll let you off. But you're still worried, aren't you? That you'll keep blabbing on. Yes, Aaron, I am. Because it's a boy. You're worried it'll be like father, like son. Am I like my dad? No. You're nothing like him. You know that. Right then, to so this one, with you as its mum, will be nothing like him. It's going to be a brilliant kid and a brilliant person because you are. Now you even sound like Diane. I usually be gutted at that, but she's right, isn't she? What if he looks like him, Aaron? You won't care. By the time you notice any resemblance, you'll already be head over heels in love with him. What's this? I've been having a wobble about the baby. And? I think I'm going to be OK. Kills me that I'm not going to be around for her. She's not exactly lacking in support. Yeah, right now she's not. Well, she's got us and you've got me for what it's worth. It's worth a lot. You know it is. Once I'm banged up, we're not going back down that road again. We'll be fine. You promised me you wouldn't do anything stupid. And I intend to honor that. You intend to? I need to know that she's got all she needs. I need to know that you all have. Go on. You right, mate? Yeah. Good chat. What is all this? Huh? Well, are you doing it, or am I? But don't be so dramatic. Ooh. Who's is that? Mine. You've been on the scrounge from the second you got back. You said you were skint. Mm, I know. Where have you nicked that from? Uh, oh, you just assume that I've nicked it. Well, where did you get it, then? Well, I nicked it, didn't I? From a casino. From a casino? Well, that's great, because they're famous for just letting things slide, aren't they? And they hardly ever have CCTV, so... How much is there? Five in cash, 15 in chips that she was keeping for herself. She was what? I gave you ten quid. So take it back. What, is it numbered or whatever? Well, I imagine so. But I bought you stuff, man. Scrounging off us this whole time. Seems like you can take the girl out of the dingles, but you can also take the dingle out of the girl. Give up your old rope. Look, we've only managed to change a bit cos the casino's on to us, so we're stuck. We've been racking our brains how we're going to change the rest and then... then we were going to hand it all out, weren't we? 100%. 100, though. So what are you going to do? Up to now, I've come up with this. <sighs> Any advance? Weird, that. Yeah. Well, that's the kind of bag of chips I'd enjoy. Look, I've told you what the plan is. If you don't believe me, what can I do? Come on. <sighs> Wait, sit you two penithing, have you? You prefer me to stick me 15 grand's worth him? Huh? That's how much your chips are worth. What's this? National State of the Obvious Day? Do you want me to start on you? No, don't start me. Might get upset. I might not give it to us. Well, if I'm upset, I might not call my mate. Who works in a casino. In the cash office. 